Good day, good people. This is your Poolproof Wisdom Moment for another Friday. Listen, personal growth is essential. Some people stagnate. They never seem to move beyond the point in life where they question themselves or doubt themselves or disbelieve that there is an opportunity to become more than what they currently are. Now, what I've known for sure is that when it comes to growth, how much we are able to grow is directionally proportional, equal to how much truth about yourself you can accept. Directionally proportional to and equal to how much truth you can accept about yourself. Does that make sense? Because it should. Think about it. When you accept yourself completely, lumps and all, you have a different relationship with what you think you're capable of than when you don't. It really is that simple. So the moment that you begin to accept all the truths about yourself, the good, the bad, the dark, the light, the ones that bring people to you and make other people flee, the things that in your time with yourself, you hate to admit even to yourself, those things will allow you to actually grow because you can work toward the goal of improving upon them. You can work toward the goal of understanding why they are things that are part of who you are and how you deal with them as a result and how you deal with other people and circumstances as a result of those things. But unless you accept them, unless you accept how much truth you can hold on to, wrangle with, and overcome, you will always be in a place where it just is what it is. And let me say, while that's a phrase that we use consistently and apply to so many things, it is what it is. It's not the way you want to describe your life, good people. You don't want it to be just stagnant. You don't want it to be a life that is filled with you always having questions about why you aren't better at something, why you are having difficulties in relationships, why you can't love yourself. So the only way to do that is to remove the veil that is hiding all of the truths about yourself from not only you, but the rest of the world. Freeing yourself to be authentic allows you to have, believe it or not, an authentic life. And the more authentic your life, the more honest your interactions, not just with yourself, but with others will be. And when you grow in that way, when you become that person, you are free to be the person that you really want to be because you're not trying to be anything else but that. Think about it, good people. How wonderful is it to be 100% yourself, 100% of the time without worrying about what that's going to be perceived as by others, but more importantly, how you're going to deal with being that person 100% of the time yourself. It's a wonderful thing I wish for you. It's certainly one that I embrace. And as you go forward this day and every day thereafter, focus on what you can be based on who you really are and watch what a difference that will make in your life. I wish you well. And I'll see you here again next time. Have a fantastic weekend and do what's necessary to be who you are. Take care now.